Hey folks, this is Lonzo, the Godfather of the West Coast Hip Hop. Now I bet you some of y'all didn't know I had a book out, did you? Well, I do. NWA, Not Without Alonzo, available on Amazon.com, $14.95. But also, there is a comic book, limited edition comic book, Hip Hop Family Tree, featuring yours truly, Lonzo in the middle, Dr. Dre and Yella, limited edition, only available on my website, LonzoWilliams.com. Now, if you want both books, the Hip Hop Family Tree and NWA, both of them, 30 bucks. Go to my website, LonzoWilliams.com. In the comments, put your name and what you want me to say, I'll autograph and make sure it gets to your house right away. Both books, 30 bucks, autograph, LonzoWilliams.com. And if you like me, you don't have time to sit down and read like I'd like to, but I love audio books. That's why I put my book, NWA, Not Without Alonzo, on audio. That's right but it's available only on CD Baby. Why? Because I set every track, every story to music. So as you riding down the street, listening to the stories of West Coast hip hop, you got some fresh new tracks to bob your head to. Available only on CD Baby, NWA, Not Without Alonzo. Check it out, folks. Give you something to ride to. Peace. Oh, uh, what you do? Be willing to learn. Be a sponge at all times, folks. If you don't know, don't be afraid to ask. Trust with suspicion. Trust with suspicion. What I mean by that is, don't be so, uh, don't, don't give anybody blind trust over your career, okay? If they say here is something, read it. If they say here's your money, count it, okay? Simple as that. It's, not, it's, it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with being a little suspicious. Okay, you don't know what somebody's going through. They may that may be that one time they take advantage of you because they know you trust them. Be a little suspicious. That's just being that's be trust, but be a little suspicious. Not really, not not just always accusing somebody of some shit, but just hey man, um, uh, trust in God but tie your camels. As they what the, what the uh, Islam says, uh, trust in Allah but tie your camels, man. Be prepared for meetings with anyone that you pay on an hourly basis. Be prepared. Be prepared when you walk into the meeting. When you go out to see your lawyer, you got some issues you want to deal with, write that shit down, put it on your phone, okay? Put it on your phone, make some notes, and put a timer on that ass, okay? I'm going to see my lawyer. He's charging me $300 an hour. I'm going to walk in there. I'm going to be out of there some bitch in an hour because I don't want to be stuck in there and him billing me for $600. And don't go in there with a bunch of extra conversation. Be prepared. Go in there. Handle your business. Because he, trust me, he may be relaxed, kicking back in his chair. But he's, he's charging your ass by the hour. Get your ass in. Get your ass out. And ask him, are we on the clock now? Yes, I am. And when you get through, are we off the clock? Yes, we are. And look at your watch. Trust would be suspicious. Look at your watch. Okay. You got me for 59 minutes, right? Okay, cool. You don't want no surprise bills at the end of the month. You don't want no surprises. At, at $300 an hour, you don't want no surprises. Count your own money. Count your own money. Don't let nobody just give you a, give you a, a, a check. What, what, what's the breakdown at? Okay, count your own money. Somebody give you a check, what's the breakdown? You a promoter, you a, you, you, you a, um, you, you a performer. And you do a show, and you got to get people. You got to pay people to pay the band. You got to pay whatever the case may be. Okay, where is who you pay? Where is that? Well, I took care of the band. He is your cut. Wait, 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 wait. No, you paid the band how much? Where is it at in writing? So and make make sure that all the band members sign the contract. Hey, sign, sign. Hey, so and so paid me. So and so paid me. I had to pay for this, pay for that, and this, you know, da 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 da. It don't it don't take. You can put a spreadsheet on your phone. So that right there. Ain't no excuse for that. Sit in on all your meetings if you can. Sit in on all your meetings. Don't be too busy to handle your own damn business. If you got a manager, that's fine, okay? Sometimes just sit there and listen. You may not understand everything going on, but you want to, I tell you what, you'll never know if you don't go to the meetings yourself. So sit there and listen to what they got to say about your business. It is your business. They work for you. Don't get into a bunch of uh, don't get into a bunch of uh, negotiations right there. Step out if you got something to ask your manager. Step outside. Hey man, 
What about so-and-so and so-and-so? Okay, cool. And handle it like that. You read and sign your own paperwork. Don't give nobody power of attorney to sign your name on that. That don't make no sense. If you're healthy, let so you sign your own shit. Sign your own checks. Sign your own contracts. Have your lawyer read your contract. Um, make sure your checks, when you fix, look for the invoice. Where is the invoice to this check? I, I'm going to sign a bunch of damn checks. Sign your own checks. Read your own, uh, read your own contracts. Be cool. Be cool. Be nice. This is the business of relationships, folks. This is the business of relationships. If you're not trying to build relationships in this game right here, you are you pissing yourself, you're pissing in the wind. I can make phone calls right now, people I've been knowing for 20 years, I ain't seen in 15. Because when I call them, I'm a nice guy. Hey, man, how you doing today? Blah, blah, blah. Shoot the shit with them for a minute. Learn to build relationships because you don't know where the people on this line right now, in a few minutes, I'm about ready to wrap up, but um, the people on this line right now, it's managers on this line, it's producers on this line, it's artists on this line. If you are an asshole, ain't nobody checking for you. If you are an asshole, you may be a talented asshole, but it's too many people out here that can sing, dance, rap, produce, and put up with your bullshit. If you're bringing bullshit to the table, you're gonna probably going to end up being left right there. So understand, be cool, be nice. Some people think being a bitch is part of being an artist, being a diva, being some kind of, uh, I forget what they call the opposite of male divas. I call them bitch-made motherfuckers. But if be, being difficult to deal with makes you an artist, not at all, man. The coolest artists, the, the biggest artists in the world are some of the coolest people you want to talk to. And once you understand that, People will, be, people will deal with you. Nobody wants to deal with you with an asterisk. Oh, uh, Vicky cool, but she got an attitude. You know, Vicky nice. She all right, but you know, you got to watch her sometimes. You don't want that. You don't want that asterisk on your on your on your name. Hey, uh, Martin cool. He, he pretty cool, brother. Yeah, all right. He's good dude. Okay, you don't you don't want no asterisk. You don't want nobody that's, that's explain you. Oh, Lonzo, he all right, but you know you got to watch him. No, nah, fuck that. So anyway, folks, build relationships, and you'd be surprised. How much further your career, career go? Learn the game you're trying to play, folks. This is the music game. Everything I've taught you is some, some of the things I've taught you that I've mentioned today, you're not going to find in books. They don't want you to know this. They don't want you. They want you to be as ignorant as possible, sign the first piece of, con, first con, piece of paper they give you so that they can rip you off for the rest of your life. Jerry Heller once said, if I rip people off so bad, why is it I've never been sued? Because once the contract is signed, you can't sue them. Once it's been signed, you can't sue him. It's not his job to tell you, go get a lawyer. He can, hey, man, go get a lawyer. If you don't go get one, it's not his, it's not his responsibility. I've had this, I had an argument with a buddy of mine. Well, he should have did this. Those kids, that was grown men. When you turn 18 in the eyes of the law, to come to contract, you're a grown-ass man. You're a grown-ass woman. So if you decide to sign a contract, whether it be a, a, a marriage agreement, a, 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 a credit card, a record contract, whatever you sign, that's what you stuck with. You can go to court if you want to, but nine times out of ten, you're going to get your feelings hurt. So take care of your business for your business to take care of you. And I'm opening up the chat room. I think that's, for, that's it for the presentation, folks. We're just having some fun right now. You live with Lonzo, the Godfather of West Coast Hip Hop. I hope I turn, gave you something that you can use. And now I'm going to open up the uh, chat room so we can kick it for a minute, folks. Chat room is not open. If you got any questions, please. Um, let me have them. Samika got a lot of friends on this thing, boy. All right, I'm gonna unmute y'all. Unmute all. Everybody's unmuted, folks. Anybody got any questions? Lonzo, what's up? It's your boy, White Cheddar. Hey, what's up, Cheddar? Hey, man. Uh, I'm not sure about the question. I got I to gotta think a little bit more if I, if I have one specifically. But I do got to say, uh, what a thorough presentation and just so much awesome information that's coming at us, man. It's so cool to think about uh, the career that you've had and then the wisdom that you're laying out. Uh, 
and I know you've mentioned this before, but we couldn't probably find anybody else that has the full gamut of understanding of the artist side and the club owner side and the promoter side and the record label owner. So I just want to say a um, mad shout out for that. And then also, bro, um, I just watched this thing yesterday that the Compton Unified School District was putting on. And it was kind of similar to this, Lonzo. It was a couple people that Music Unites had asked to come speak uh, to the kids. And I was just thinking as you were going through this presentation, like, I listened to both. I listened to the broadcast yesterday and I listened to this one. And I took so much more wonderful information from listening to you uh, than I did yesterday. So it would be cool to plug in, I think, with the Compton School District and do this uh, for students, too, that are interested in breaking into the music industry. And that's my two cents. Thank you, man. I'd love to do that, Doc. Um, Compton, you know, Compton's my home, so uh, I, I, I'll, make, I'll reach out for them just to see what, what, what the possibilities are. Yeah, uh, well, you got to connect because you've got Jeff Harris, and he's the guy that was leading the conversation yesterday, so. Yes, sir. Much love, Chatter. Yep, thank you. Man, I see Sue Ann was one of the first people to chime in earlier today. Sue Ann, was I able to help you in your, in your quest for knowledge? In regards to the music industry, so Ann, you there? She's on mute. Okay, she can okay. have you. We spoke earlier. All right, well, it's Bobby Buck, but while you waiting on her, yeah. um, hey, how you doing, sir? How you doing, it's Bobby Buck? Hey, hey, yeah, I was gonna say, um, something I'm kind of I heard about, but I'm not really precise with, like with the artist. Uh, contract when they go to the studio, artist, artist agreement contract or something like that. Uh, like when they go, like when you go to the studio, you, should, you it's like some paperwork you should have before you go to a studio for an artist uh, producer agreement or something like that. Well, um, sometimes people will take a split sheet with them. I mean, if you go into if you go on if you go on into the studio to record and you know you go on to record. And you might have to write some lyrics. Sometimes men wouldn't be good, wouldn't be bad to have a spit sheet with you. Cause sometimes shit just get past you, Doc. You get busy and you forget, or people say, I'll oh, be ain't gonna release it right now. I'm gonna say you look up uh, six months later and you on a hit record, your name ain't nowhere on the on the record or on on the on the credits, no place. Hey, that's my voice. That's my that's my hook. And somebody else took credit for what you did. Now you wanna grab your pistol and, and go looking for folks. So Sometimes, man, it's, it's, it wouldn't be bad. If you know you're going to the studio to record, hey, you can get you can download. You're in the era of Google. You can download basic right, right now uh, a spit sheet, a uh, production agreement. And some of these things, it, 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 there's, there's even a, um, I think I got one. It's a, um, it's a, um, a laptop, I mean, a, a program with basic contracts. They're all basic contracts. For writer production for writers. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's a music business on the. It's like it's a music business, music business uh, information on a music contracts on a disc. Okay. Okay. We got them for movies. They got them for music. And this basic contract is that and most of the percentages are all blank. So nothing is predetermined. It just gives you the basic language you need to have a legitimate understanding and a legitimate agreement. Agreement. With whoever you're working with. Okay, yeah, I can't remember the name of yeah, split sheet. That's why I try to cover. Up. Remember, somebody told me about it. Why a split sheet? Yeah, because because I actually did something. Well, I didn't even know I was gonna be there that way. Because my homeboy at the time he was working with Devonte Swing, and he was singing on a track, and I wrote some lyrics, okay. and Devonte is singing, and then I think and I wasn't with ASCAP or BMI or nothing like that because I didn't you know I wasn't even thinking about that part. But then later on. Um, they tried to add me to it, but it said you got to be on BMI or ASCAP at that point in time when right. you write it. You need to be recognized as a BMI um, writer. And uh, if, you're, if you're a writer, hey, man, what about my publishing? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's how they're going to do you. Oh, okay. If they, publishing, don't, if, don't ask, don't tell. Straight up. Right, right. If you, right. Don't, if you don't ask about it, they're going to tell you about it. They're going to claim it. They're going to claim it 100%. And if you don't know to ask about it, then they ain't gonna ask. They ain't gonna tell you about it. Yep, I, I learned. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. 